Today, I will be presenting my outstanding athlete assignment. The first athlete that I researched was Ian Miller. Ian Miller is a legendary Canadian athlete that competes internationally in equestrian show jumping. He started riding at 10 years old and is currently 71 years old. Therefore, he has been riding for 61 years. Personal history. Ian was born on January 6, 1947 in Halifax, Nova Scotia. He currently lives in Perth, Ontario, where he runs Miller Brook Farm alongside his two children, Amy and Jonathan Miller, as well as his daughter-in-law, Kelly Solu Miller. In 2008, Ian's wife and business partner of 39 years, Lynn Miller, unfortunately died of cancer. Why is Ian famous? Ian is the most decorated equestrian in Canadian history. He has many major accomplishments. At the Olympic Games, Ian has competed in more Olympic Games than any other athlete in history in any sport. As of 2012 Olympic Games in London, he set a new world record for number of Olympic starts with 10 in total. At the London Olympics, Ian recorded his best individual result to date, where he finished ninth overall. Ian earned his first Olympic medal in 2008 at the age of 61, making him the oldest show jumper to stand on a podium at the Olympic Games. With only a three-member team as opposed to four members riding the final round of the team competition at the London Olympics, Ian came through with a clear round, forcing a jump off with the United States. Canada finished those games with a team silver medal, which is the first team show jumping medal in 40 years. At the Pan American Games, Ian has won nine medals in the nine games that he has competed in. He has won the individual gold medal twice at the Pan American Games, the first time in 1987 with Big Ben and the second time in 1999 with Ivar. At the World Championships and World Cup Finals, he has represented Canada at six World Championships where he has been a member of three Canadian teams that have had top five finishes. He has finished in the top 10 individually twice at the World Championships, and he became the first rider in show jumping to win back-to-back -back World Cup Finals. In 1988 in Gothenburg, in 1989 in Tampa, both aboard Big Ben. Ian has represented Canada in every Nations Cup event held at a show he has attended since he was first named to the team in 1971. He is also a 12-time Canadian champion, which is a record, and he is a two-time winner of the $1 million CN International Grand Prix at Spruce Meadows. He has also won the 1.5 million CP International Grand Prix aboard Dixon. Ian has many major awards and Hall of Fame inductions. He was awarded the Order of Canada in 1986. He was awarded the Ontario Athlete of the Year in 1989. He received an honorary doctorate by the University of Guelph in 2005. And with his legendary horse, Big Ben, he was inducted into the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame in 1996. In 2016, Ian was inducted into the Ontario Sports Hall of Fame. Ian has become a major inspiration for young equestrians to look up to. He proves that even if you are older than most of your competitors in show jumping, you can still be very successful. He inspires people that might not be the perfect image or people that are doubted by many people. He has a very large fan base of people that support and cheer for him. He draws spectators to horse shows and his presence encourages large groups of people to cheer for Canada and show their support for the nation. Ian and the team at Millerbrook Farm support and work with various different charitable organizations including the Cancer Society of Canada, Cantra, Heart and Stroke Foundation, Mad Canada, the Salvation Army, the Table Community Food Centre and the University of Ottawa Heart Foundation. He has decided to use his fame for a good cause in supporting multiple charities that are close to his heart and his family's hearts. He gives back to the community, which has gained him respect from so many people. In addition to giving back to charities, Ian and his children also teach a group of students at their Millerbrook farm to assist them in reaching their own goals in show jumping. Ian has two children 
Amy and Jonathan Miller. Both are accomplished equestrians and have represented Canada in international competitions. Amy is also an Olympian in show jumping as she competed for Canada at the 2016 Rio Olympic Games. Ian owns a commercial slash residential development in Smith Falls, Ontario. He is known as Captain Canada by fans and equestrians around the world and his favorite quote is, there is no I in team. The second athlete that I chose to research was Christine Sinclair. Christine is Canada's most well-known women's soccer player. She started playing soccer at age four and is currently 35 years old. Therefore, she has been playing soccer for 31 years. She was born on June 12, 1983 in Burnaby, BC, where she still lives today. Her parents' names are Bill and Sandra Sinclair, and she also has an older brother named Michael. She graduated from the University of Poland in 2005 with a degree in life science. Christine is the most successful soccer player to ever compete for Canada. She made her first appearance with the senior national team at just 16 years of age at the 2000 Algarov Cup, where she scored her first international goal. Since her first international appearance, she has accumulated more than 160 career goals, which ranks her second in history, but first among active players. She's competed in three Olympic Games, Beijing in 2008, London in 2012, and Rio in 2016. She won the bronze at the Olympic medal games in London in 2012, where she was the competition's leading scorer. She scored six of Canada's 12 goals, including a hat trick in Canada's extra time semi-final loss to the United States. For her efforts in the London Olympics, Sinclair was named as a flag bearer for the closing ceremonies. She became the first soccer player to win the Lou Marsh Award as Canadian Athlete of the Year. In 2013, she was inducted into the Canadian Walk of Fame. During the 2002 FIFA U20 Women's World Cup in Edmonton, Sinclair won the Golden Boot as she was the tournament's leading so scorer with 10 goals as well as the Golden Ball as a tournament MVP as Canada finished second. In her first FIFA Women's World Cup, Sinclair scored three goals to help Canada reach the bronze medal game. In the 2011 FIFA World Women's World Cup, Christine broke her nose during the Canada Canada's opening match, but she still played for the rest of the tournament wearing a face mask. In 2011, Christine led Canada to gold at the Pan Am Games in Mexico, following up her bronze medal in 2007. She was named Canada's Soccer Female Player of the Year 11 straight times from 2004 to 2014. She has also been nominated multiple times for the FIFA Women's World Player of the Year. Christine has had a massive impact on the sport of soccer in Canada. When she was growing up, there were no obvious female role models in sports. The women's soccer team was not selling out any stadiums, and the women's soccer did not have a presence on television. This has all changed with the international success Sinclair and her teammates have had. Below are the impacts that Sinclair and her teammates have had on Canadian sport and society. When Sinclair and her teammates returned from the London Olympics, a significant number of parents raced to register their children in coaching clinics that featured the Olympians. Parents also raced to register or re-register their children's soccer programs due to their children being inspired by the new Olympian role models. Christine has inspired girls that play sports to continue playing and reach their goals, as well as inspired girls to start playing sports. She became a role model for girls in sport. Christine and her teammates have inspired people that have never watched soccer or any other sport to watch the women's soccer, become fans, and become involved in the sport. She is also incredibly humble, which has gained her an enormous amount of respect from her teammates and fans. Other than being described by her teammates as the best women's soccer player in the world, Christine is also often described as passionate, creative, and classy. She sets an example for younger athletes as to how you should act when playing sports. She demonstrates respect both on and off the field and does not take advantage of her fame. 
Before a game, Christine always listens to Michael Jackson and puts all of her equipment on from the left side first. She received an honorary doctorate of laws from Simon Fraser University in 2013. She wears number 12 on the field because it was a number that Hall of Famer and second baseman, former Toronto Blue Jay, Roberto Alomar wore. She was featured alongside Lionel Messi on the cover of the FIFA 16 video game in Canada. She enjoys playing golf and she is very famously quiet and serious about soccer. She does not take advantage of being in the spotlight. She plays soccer because she truly loves the sport and not because of the amount of attention and fame she receives from it.